USB 1207 and ASTM F233809 both talk about CCIT, but do they define an allowable leak size? Leakage into and out of packages could negatively affect a product's safety or stability. Container Closure Integrity Testing, or CCIT, prevents products with leaking containers from reaching the market, where they can pose risks to patient safety. USP 1207 provides extensive guidance on how to assess container closure integrity, but only generic indication as to the allowable leak size. According to the USP 1207, the maximum allowable leak should be determined by the pharmaceutical manufacturer and should be based on a risk analysis considering the product, available technologies and costs. The smaller the leak, the less likely it is that either the product will escape the package or contaminants will enter it. But finding small leaks also requires longer test times. On the other hand, the ASTM standard cites a number of target leaks based on case studies. These leaks range from 5 micron in 1 ml syringes to several hundred micron in flexible containers. The more rigid and stable the container, the better the achievable sensitivity. As the container changes, grows larger, more residual volume is created, etc., the achievable sensitivity will worsen, with the pinhole size and therefore the detectable leak growing bigger. Bonfiglioli Engineering offers a variety of options for both inline and laboratory testing and has engineered hardware and software solutions that further enhance test sensitivity while limiting testing times. Our expert team can help pharmaceutical manufacturers choose the right solution for their specific products.